Hey peeps, welcome to Steve's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in on today's video on Steve's Corner. We got so much tea to talk about, it's crazy. But hit the like button, subscribe, and notification bell because those three important things is gonna be what brings the tea, okay? And if you leave a comment on my video and if I like it, you're gonna get a shout out. And follow me on these corner at Twitter and on Instagram. So let's get ready to hop in on these crazy hot topics. Oh, well, yes, we definitely have some great tea to spill. And this tea right here, you guys, I was so excited to get everything that I need to be able to start a series. Because it seems like we're in a series, y'all, with this tea. But anyway, so make sure you guys check out my last previous video because the last previous video is so good just like this video and all my other videos we have cj so cool versus the other side and the reason why i went ahead and said the other side because cj on 32s which used to be cj so cool's friend has sent out a text or yeah a text message and it has something to do with one cj to julia and it was from it was actually sent to Tanya, I believe. Tanya is loyalty's mother. Now, these messages that is being talked about, it says things like, I'm sorry, mom, got you involved in the situation, but thanks for looking out like always. This situation has been so heavy on my heart, but sadly, yes, what mom told you was true. He started with she was only 10 years old and what is he talking about apparently allegedly we don't know 100 percent true and i don't believe this we are standing on suggest cool side apparently suggest cool had essayed julia while they was living together um when him and warranty was together now he's going on and said this if you want to know who your real friends are Quit your job and see which one of them starts throwing you under the bus and which one actually shows up and port you. And then here's what CJ on 32 said in the video he recently made. Thank you so much for putting me on. But now. <laughs> now let's see the real you. Now you you got to start from scratch. We're not going to talk about. Where you was at or what you was doing before you met royalty and them kids. See, this you guys really want to know what he was doing before he actually got on YouTube and was doing what he was doing. Do we really, really want to know what CJ on 32's quote unquote tea that he has? Do you guys actually think whatever is coming from CJ on 32's is accurate? Do you guys actually believe that? Here's some more things that he had said about CJ. Y'all fail to understand. And I understand that he got a lot of young, immature kids that follow him. And they don't they don't understand, they don't comprehend, they don't know. But a real nigga and an adult, you're not gonna you can't manipulate them. You can't push shit past all these people you manipulated all these years because you had money, you never manipulated me. I always talk crazy to you, I always told you the truth. Um, that shit never worked. My self-respect and value mean more than anything than money. So um, yeah, but like I was saying, so Jinx started the YouTube. Jinx put you on his platform. And Jinx is really the man. So Jinx made you. The things that made you get money was when you met royalty and the kids. You might have started up everything, but without them kids, my boy, my nigga. It's showing now. Do I gotta say it? Without them kids, my nigga, you wanna talk about putting on? Royalty and her kids put you on. You ain't do that shit by yourself, nigga. I did my shit by myself. This CJ on 32's channel. I ain't use no family, no kids, no none of that shit. I use my talent, nigga. And I stuck with what I was doing. I always showed you love and respect, nigga. I, even when you talk bad about me, I never disrespect you at all. But you a lame. You a goofy, bro. And you know that. This nigga, we texting back and forth. I'm telling him, like, bro, you a weirdo. Like, you lame, bro. You a lame. It's true. You a lame, bro. You, you can't think. You got a fucking bird brain, bro. You dumb as hell. You don't... It's like you can't even think for yourself, bro. You just go on the internet and you just say shit. I, I don't know if... You can't use me to revive your career. Nigga, you got talent. Just use your talent. You don't got to talk about nobody. Nobody never took that from you. Nobody never talked bad about you. 
but you weird as hell, bro. You just keep saying shit. You keep sending like little slick shots, nigga. Stop playing. Hey, stop playing with me before I go to the ice champ, nigga, and buy your jewelry that you be downplaying all this shit to everybody. Stop playing with me before I go back to the ice champ and buy your jewelry, you ponder, nigga. Don't get on the air and then like, oh, I want to get a buzz down plane. I got a Richard Millie upstairs, too. I should go get it. You put my career on to help me get that uh, 250K Richard Millie, too, right? Nah, 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 my boy. I stuck to my... At that time, the kids were preteens going through puberty and also now that they're adults. So, and then Jaleel went on to say, you got the right one. I ain't little no more. This is my story to tell with drums. Now, I cannot have a heart towards Julia because one Julia has entered her self into adult conversation. She always thought she acted like an adult, wanted to be in adult conversations and never stayed in a child's place. And this says, this bleep girl about to stomp a whole mud, a mud hole in your and career. But why are you worrying about career of CJs when you need to be worrying about your own career and going to college. But this is what royalty, quote unquote, recently said. That definitely is not going to happen. I've been getting calls and text messages, you know, saying, can, you know, we be a family again? Can, you know, go back to the old days? Can the twins is begging that they want to be honest, to be together? And I just feel like that can never happen again because it's just the damage has been done, you know? So it's like, I feel like, like I said before, if the person would have, you know, kept it cordial, kept it cute, and I went on the whole internet, made several videos bashing, you know, talking about my whole entire family, from my grandmother to my mother to my kids, and just a whole bunch of stuff that just is too much to even, even, you know, accept any back to that no more, like... It's just, like I said, too much d damage has been done. We we basically built each other up. We've helped each other. They, they just basically went with me because, of course, I'm there. I mean, it was just, it was a sad situation, y'all. But, you know, like like I said, it's just sometimes people outgrow people or sometimes people see the real true intentions of people. And, you know, I just didn't want to go through certain things with my kids. They've seen a lot since they were young when it came to me and that person. So I just feel like, you know, it's, it's a done data. That's all I got to say. It's a done data. Like I said, this person, he calls me constantly saying he do want to be like a family. Can I give him another chance? And like, I just, I just can't do it, you know, instead of you begging and asking for your family back, how about start off with an apology, like a sincere apology, not just to me. Not Pretty sure CJ has had his moments where, you know, he do probably miss the kids at some point. But this is uh, in the middle of the video, the video. My background music was too loud. That's their fault, bro. Produced. They won't start jumping all over me. They won't leave me alone for one second. So that was a complete accident. If that happened, I was trying to rush, trying to do everything at once. I got to take my daughter to the doctor in two minutes. I knew I had to do that, so I was trying to hurry up. They, like I said, they they don't ever stop. I'm not mad at them. I'm just mad at myself for making a mistake so early already, man. Everybody comment, the music too loud, the music too loud in the middle of the video. My bad, bro. My bad. Already got 12,000 subscribers. Already. How many pages? Crazy. Toast. Got some real ones behind me, man. I appreciate it. I just can't wait to give y'all some stuff, man. I can't wait to do giveaways, man. Right now, I can't even say chilling. Like, <laughs> we're doing a lot more than that. Agree with the video music being vile because I have mentioned to CJ before music is loud, but here's more from CJ on 32. The niggas say they made hoe. Go make another hoe. You gotta make yourself first. I'm straight, nigga. YouTube opened doors, but I paid away, bro. I found my own lane. I stayed in my own lane. I never hated on nobody. A word from CJ. I just wanted to be uplifted. And finally, something happened. I started working out. I started feeling better about myself. My head got a little clear. That led me to making this video right here. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, what does the future have in store for CJ So Cool? And I'm honestly here to tell you guys that answer right now. I made a new YouTube, and I plan on posting every video on that page. And I know you guys on CJ So Cool's page are probably like, what do you mean? What does that mean for us over here? That means come over to the new page. You can still watch the old videos if you want to, but I don't feel like adding to my CJ So Cool catalog when majority of it is my ex and her kids. Majority of it is a bunch of memories that I have to keep seeing every time I wanna post a video. A bunch of commenters that are used to me posting with the old family and that can't get over the fact that it's over now. So I felt like and I still feel like it's time for me to move on and not, not leave my page, you know, because definitely I wanna keep it, it's mine. I'm almost at 10 million, but I feel like there's nothing left for me to do on that page. It's only up from here. If I start a new page and you guys subscribe, 
and I post a video and I begin to get consistent with it, you will join me and you will start back watching my videos. Not that you guys haven't watched my videos. I haven't posted, clearly, it's on me. But I feel like once I create a new page, I will be posting more. And there's a lot that goes into it, of course. And I don't wanna hold back anymore. For those of you that don't know, yes, I sold half, not half, over half, 70% of CJ So Cool's royalties. And I did receive income for that. And that's how I was- I also said this on his new page, which is So Cool World. Please subscribe. Um, the funny thing about CJ on 32s and CJ So Cool friendship is we both want to see each other win. And the only people trying to see us be is some of the viewers. So we give y'all what y'all want. And that's what being a content creator is all about. Real talk, I don't want to bring the fake drama over here, so let's drop it. Cool gang, hashtag 32, gang for life. CJ on 32s did share on his story. Out of respect for the family, we ain't gonna talk about your little secret, you lame bleep. Soon as I, soon as I get back from Texas, and then it says he's going to the pawn shop to the ice champ. So he's like, whatever jewelry that CJ is so cool. Hey, he's going to like get get off of it, like money and things like that. So, y'all, this whole thing is a mess. CJ on 32s gives like if you're not winning like I thought you were, I'm going to expose you because quote unquote, you quote unquote owe me for something. That's what it gives as a friend. And then it says, I just got a call from the family. You don't want to talk about what you was doing to Julia. <sighs> That's all I'm going to say on that one. And then it goes on and says, living by Lexi. Come join the winning team. It's dry over there, baby. Hashtag 32 game. Lexi is doing pretty great. She's minding her business after the fact that they are not together. So... They called it quits, which we can't confirm. But my thing is this. Royalty waited how long for all of this to come out? Quote, unquote, if it did take place. Then, even though if you're at Lexi, even though you're saying this and that, Lexi is only there for two years. Like, Lexi has not, quote, unquote, quotation marks, witnessed whatever you guys are claiming. Because, for one, it does not add up. Even, um... It just doesn't add up. And so Lexi even said, all my lawyer friends, please send me recommendation for a personal attorney. Need some things to handle. It would be like handing the lawyer free money. Trust me. Even though CJ has happened ASAP. So what do you guys think of this whole thing? I do have part two coming up shortly. And I really hope you guys stay tuned for this series because I have a series for y'all. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, and notification bell. Hi to my new and old subscribers. Thank you guys for tuning in. I gotta go leave a message in the comment section and I'll see you later. Bye.